Hey, this is Presh Talwalker. This meme has confused a lot of people. Me. So 32 degrees F is equal to 0 degrees C. Right? Teacher. Yes. Me. So 0 degrees C plus 0 degrees C is equal to 64 degrees F. Teacher. What, what, what? We have a genuine mathematical crisis. We start out with the correct equation, but when we seemingly add equivalent things to both sides of the equation, we end up with a nonsensical result that 0 degrees C plus 0 degrees C is equal to 64 degrees F. We know that can't be true. So what is going on here? Let's take a step back. We have two temperature scales, centigrade and Fahrenheit. They're described by a linear relationship between the two. We could have the equation degrees C is equal to 5 over 9 degrees F minus 32, or we could do the reverse, which is degrees F is equal to 9 over 5 degrees C plus 32. Let's use the second equation. But first, let's have a common example. Let's say you have a smart thermostat in your home that's set in Fahrenheit. If you set it to 68 degrees F, that's exactly equal to 20 degrees C. Now you would say something like raise the thermostat by one degree Fahrenheit. This is something we say all the time. So it seems obvious that you can add temperature, that you have 68 degrees F plus one degree F. So what would happen here? You would end up with a thermostat that's set to 69 degrees F. Now, if you convert back, this is approximately equal to 20.6 degrees centigrade. So the change in centigrade, we go from 20 degrees centigrade to 20.6. This is an increase of about 0.6 degrees centigrade. So we can see what happens when we change the temperature. Now, let's imagine we're working in Celsius and for some reason, we have zero degrees Celsius here. So that is equal to 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, what would happen if we say raise the temperature or change the temperature by zero degrees centigrade? What would happen? Our thermostat would still read zero. And here, zero degrees C is equal to 32 degrees F. So we can notice that we've changed the Fahrenheit by nothing. We've raised this by zero degrees Fahrenheit. So we can see that if we add zero degrees centigrade, we're adding zero degrees Fahrenheit. We're not just adding degrees centigrade, we're going to change the temperature. So we're looking at a change in the degrees of centigrade. So let's work this out mathematically. We know that degrees Fahrenheit is equal to nine over five degrees Celsius plus 32. Now, if we apply the delta operator or the change to both sides of the equation, we get that a change in degrees Fahrenheit is equal to a change of 9 over 5 degrees Celsius. If we solve this for degrees Celsius, we get that a change in degrees Celsius is equal to a change of 5 over 9 degrees Fahrenheit. So this is what we want to apply to our original problem. So we have that zero degrees C is equal to 32 degrees F. This is a correct equation. Now we try to add zero degrees C plus zero degrees C and we get 32 degrees F plus 32 degrees F. This is wrong, you can't do this. What you are actually doing is you're taking zero degrees C and you're adding a change of zero degrees C. So then what does the equation become? A change of zero degrees C is exactly equal to a change of zero degrees F by this equation. So our equation then becomes 32 degrees F, that's the conversion of zero degrees C, plus a change of zero degrees F. Now the left hand side, zero plus zero is of course equal to zero. And on the right hand side, we have 32 plus zero, and that is equal to 32. So we end up with the very boring equation that zero degrees C is equal to 32 degrees F. So now let's bring it full circle. Me, 
So 32 degrees F is equal to zero degrees C, right? Teacher, yeah, me. So zero degrees C plus zero degrees C is equal to 64 degrees F. Teacher, obviously not. Adding a change of zero degrees C is equivalent to adding a change of zero degrees F. So zero degrees C plus a change of zero degrees C is equal to 32 degrees F plus a change of zero degrees F. And that means zero degrees C is equal to 32 degrees F. You can't outsmart me. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.